Hey there! I am planting some herb, I guess herb sprouts? I don't know what they'd be called, into uh, some dirt and I am going to attempt to keep them alive in my kitchen. We'll see how this goes. So my mom was so gracious. She gave me a basil plant. You can see the roots are here. She started the roots for me. And this one is rosemary. They smell amazing. Like my whole house smells so amazing. So she started these roots for me. And so I've been keeping them. I kept them alive so far overnight. So far, so good. I braved the cold and went out to my garden and I found a pot that had a different plant that I had already killed this year. And I got some dirt and I will be planting my herbs into these solo cups. All right, so how many solo cups do you need to plant? Apparently I need six. <laughs> no, you really probably only need two, but I have used six. I'm going to dump, how am I gonna do Okay, I'm gonna dump some dirt into the bottom of this one. I'm taking my basil plant and I'm actually going to just take a paper towel and wipe off the roots on this. Okay, so just giving them just a little pat, just drying them so that I don't have like just a bunch of moldy roots going into the dirt. Okay, and I'm plopping that down into a little bit of dirt at the bottom. So I am taking this now and dumping the additional dirt sort of on top and around. Whoa. Okay, there's dirt all over the floor now. Can't let my husband see that. So I'm going to just take my fingers and kind of position this in the middle and I'm just gonna pack down this dirt um, around the plant so that's nice and steady. Cool, there we go. Looks like that one is good to go. I'm gonna put that up on my windowsill. All right, so doing the same with my rosemary. I'm just gonna just towel off these roots real quick here. I don't know if I have to do this, but it just seems weird. Not, I don't wanna put them like sopping wet into the dirt, even though I'm probably gonna water them anyway. I don't know. Okay, dirt goes in. <laughs> the roots on this one are a little bit more hardy, so I'm actually gonna just kinda nestle this down into the dirt. Bring the other dirt on top of those roots. I'm gonna just pack that down nice and snug in there. And that one is also ready to go. I'm gonna put that up on my windowsill. Uh, this window in particular faces south, so I know that it gets a lot of daytime sunlight. Oh, you know what? The last thing I, I probably should do is poke some holes. I probably should have done this before we started. Let's see how this goes. Okay, this is where you need a parent. Okay, so this is where you need a sharp knife and parental guidance. And we'll see how this goes, but I'm just gonna poke a couple of holes at the bottom so that um, it doesn't get moldy when I water it. I, pr I probably should have done this first. Okay, so you can see there, I've just got some holes poked on the bottom there. I'm not gonna do that with the same with the other one. Okay, so now I'm going to grab uh, another Tupperware to put these in so that when I water them and the water comes through the holes on the bottom, uh, it doesn't leak all over my kitchen. Okay, so I've got a Tupperware. Actually, this, guys, I we get this, like, um, it's kind of like a no, never any or something turkey from Aldi, and they come in these amazing Tupperwares that we reuse. So, like, two for one. Love it. So I'm going to put my herbs in there. They fit perfectly! Oh my goodness! I couldn't have planned that better. All right, so here they go. Just going up on my windowsill. And voila! Check back with me uh, in a couple weeks to see if they are still alive. Hopefully they will be, and I'll be making some delicious recipes with my herbs.